okay so today in this video we're going to look at how to add splash screens to our react native application now the purpose of splash screens in our application is to bootstrap our applications and then get the app ready now what do we mean by bootstrapping and getting our applications ready now if you want to make or your app requires some calls to the data persistence or to the database then you may need the splash screen to keep your users in, in some small weight before the apps load because if you want to check that the user is already logged in you may try or you may want to use the splash screen or if you want to load some default configurations when the app loads then you might need splash screen because splash screen is not something that is compulsory for every application but if you want to have this opportunity to bootstrap or take some data or load some configuration before the user gets to use the app then I might recommend the use of splash screen now today we're going to look at how to add a simple splash screen like this one to our react native application and we're going to consider in the video comprehensively the ways to add splash screen on uh, any react native Android app so if the app is react native and it is being developed using the android environment then it's cool you can watch this video but i will put some links in the description that can help you in order for you to learn about how to add uh, splash screen for iOS or Android so you can get the chance to read much about that so basically that's what we want to do so we are in our project and I've opened the project with VS code now we need to look at something we are building a splash screen and an icon for the Android part of our application. And I'm much concerned with Android because my environment is based on Android, as I said earlier on. So we have to take a look at the Android directory. And there is a change in the structure and it's going to be very different from yours. But if you continue, or if you follow me throughout this video you're going to able you're going to be able to get the same thing done with yours so we go to the android and we go to the app directory we go to the source directory and then we might concern now with the resource directory now in the resource you are having only the map map directories and the values but not the drawable. This is because React Native by default generates the map map directories. But the drawable directories contains one thing, um, two things. Now the icon and the screen, which is going to be our splash screen. Now I have this as my splash screen, and then I'm also having this, so if you come here, almost the same thing okay so what do we need to do now to get this you have to come to this online tool i have the url in the description so you can just click on and then come in here now there is a simple instruction over here that if you want to generate an icon it should be in png format and its size should be thousand to 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels so it means that if i select a file over here 
now I have the icon if I select this far when you check out this far its size should be okay so the mentions is going to be thousand by twenty four thousand by twenty four and then you select the same thing for the splash screen which is also the same thing but with that one is two thousand and forty eight so you come in here after selecting the image that you want to use for your splash screen you come in here and then click on this button now when you click on this button it's going to process your image and then create the file sizes um, the image sizes or dimensions for various platforms so it will it will generate images for ios and it will generate an image for android and uh, windows phone and all this stuff but we much concerned about android so once you're done it will process and bring a download button over here um yeah something like this over here with the download zip on top here so once you download you're going to get something like this and then when you open you are going to have the android all stuff but we much interested in Android, so go to RES and then you copy this file. Now, one thing that you need to know or you need to understand is that we don't need all this to survive in React Native. So, we're going to have what is over here, we're going to have the drawable, drawable with DPI, and all the stuff plus what we see over here. I just um, moved what is in here and then paste it in my project. So basically I have moved some of this over here. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven were here and I moved it here. So you have to check the file names, um, the folder names and then move those folders over here. All right. So let's come back to our project. Now that we don't need this anymore, we need to get rid of that because we have our icon over here. So we need to get rid of this guy. So delete that directory. And then delete this one too. Don't ask me again. Delete this guy. Oh no. Okay, so it's this and then delete this too. All right, so we have got rid of the map map directories and now we have in the drawable. So once we've done that, there is one key thing that we need to go and change and we need to go to the stars. No, not the stars right now. We need to go to the Android manifest.xml. Then over here, the app icon yours is going to be the map map you need to change that one to the drawable and then set it to the icon okay so one key step we've done that we've changed that and then we need to continue from there so now we have been able to change the app icon we need to do one more thing is to add the splash screen now the splash screen starts with adding a java class which is called the splash activity .java. and in here we add this class to the package or our app package and then import these three important files or classes then come in here create a class that extends the app compass activity and then we then add the onCreate method pass in the bundle create a new intent which is equal to this then pass in the class the main activity by default react bootstrap over here so react is going to actually start the app running in the main activity the java so if we call this class it means that react react is now in action or react native is now in action sorry so what we need to do over here 
sorry in the splash activity is to call the main activity dot dot class after you know we've been present so the splash activity is now going to be our entry point for application so we need to go and change that in the android manifest the xml so once we come in here you will be having a different uh, content in here in the android manifest.xml you have the different content what you need to do is to change the icon as we did some few seconds ago sorry and then we have to add an activity so you have to add the activity now make sure that this activity has a name of the splash activity then the label is going to be the app, the app name then the team is going to be the splash team now we haven't created anything like splash team so let's go and see how to create that team so we're going to the res then we're going to values and we're going to the styles and then we come in here so we are going to say the style now you'll be having the, all of this so you create this block so you're going to say style is equal to splash team parent is equal to team dot app compact dot no action bar then we're going to have team oh sorry item is equal to android window background and then we set drawable splash background all right so we don't have this file created also so because if you go to the drawable i have that but you don't have it i have the draw drawable splash background the xml in here so that is my window background but you don't have it so let's create that one so you create a new file in the drawable folder and then a, a new xml file then come and copy this code in there so we have a selector then an item and a bitmap now we're more interested in the bitmap the bitmap has an a property called android gravity which is fill and then we're setting our source or the source of the bitmap to the drawable the screen which means that we're setting it to this so this is going to be the background for the splash okay and then we save this you need to make sure that you have this content in here save it come in here and then make sure you have this now you will be having this block of code somewhere in this and uh, this main activity so it's going to be somewhere here in the main activity let me close let me say something like this and then so you're going to have something like activity okay you will be having something like this something like this okay so all that you need to do is to move this and then bring it into the splash activity because this intent filter has an action and then the name is equal to android intent dot action domain which means that this is going to be the main point of entry to our application so we can launch the sorry we can actually start the app from this or when the app starts this is where we should start and then we have a category which is equal to android dot name is equal to android dot intent dot category dot launcher which means that when we press the launcher we can also start the uh, we can also start this activity from the launcher so this is going to be our main point of entry and this is going to allow us to start the activity from the launcher all right so let me get rid of this you can keep it that way but because there is nothing in here i will get rid of that so okay so you need to make sure that let me create it in this way so that it become clean your activity you have two 
activities, the splash activity, and then the main activity. All right, so basically that is how to add a splash screen to the React Native Android application. So we're going to run. All right, so now that the app has done with building, we need to come to our splash bug on the XML and make a change. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem with the build if you don't rectify this change or this error and make an, a change in your splash background the XML. Now, there is a question mark that we need to bring before the XML over here. So you need to make sure that your splash background the XML has this content is called is stretched in this way and that will be all so you can rerun your build and you're going to get a successful build that was the only error that popped up while the app was building okay so the app has done with building so let's go and install it so this is a, I'm going to install it then I'll come over here to Nux. Okay, so let me close it and then come over. Okay, so now you see that the app apps icon has changed to what we designed, and also let's try to open and we have this splash screen. So we have the splash screen and then it goes to our app. Let's see if everything is working. Um, Alright, so we now we get the news. Mm, let's click on the one. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and I want you to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more.